Hey guys, bit of a weird one today. I recorded the other day the unboxing of my new third hand, uh, and you can see me uh, moving my arms around and stuff here, but unfortunately I forgot to record it with any audio, so you're going to have to listen to me doing an audio thing afterwards. Basically, what I'm doing here is showing off how bad my old third hand was. Uh, you can see it, it's not very well set up or very strong in any particular way. So. On the left, I've got one of those USB heads, and on the right, I'm just getting my cable lined up here to uh, put it in. And you can see it's a little bit janky. Uh, the arm on the left, while it's a little bit stiff, the one on the right doesn't really uh, hold very well. So look, lining the cable up, lining the wire up in the right slot doesn't really work well. Now, of course, I haven't pre-stripped the wire. I haven't done anything. I'm just trying to show how exactly this fits in. But you can see... The arm on the left doesn't really hold very well, and the arm on the right doesn't really want to work in conjunction with it. That has to do with the way these joints work. You see those wing nuts and the kind of ball sockets that work with them? They really don't work very well at all. And the whole thing is just kind of a bit crappy. Now, you can buy these on Amazon for like five bucks, so it's not really that surprising that for five bucks you get something that's so crap, but I got a new one. My new one is pretty special. It's called a quad hands, and here's the box for it. I got this from Amazon, and it's you know a lot more expensive, and it's huge. You can see, you can see there just exactly how big this one is compared to the old one. This is the quad hands, and it uses four like caterpillar arms. So the little guy over there has those two clips. This has four arms with clips, and it kind of looks like. Uh, you know, an uh, octo arm or, or something like a baddie from Spider-Man or something. But it's got the clippies on the end. Here, just give me one sec. I'll take this plastic off, and then you can have a look at exactly the way this looks and works. I mean, it's so huge. That's reaching all the way up to almost my camera. That's why the, the clips are out of focus and the bottom's in focus. I mean, those arms are huge. The front arms are about half the length of the back ones. Now you can see I'm starting to tip it down now. That's really the position I'm going to be using it mostly in. It's, it's kind of like that because what I'll do is I'll move this to the back of my desk and then and then use those two back arms in the front. Now what I'm doing, I'm just going to try to remove these two front arms because I know I don't need them. So I'm just going to remove those two front arms there like that just to check if uh, if they come off and can be used. But unfortunately, as you can see, the uh, feet underneath are held on by those two arms, so I'm going to need a different solution to how this is going to work. Well, after just a little bit of modification, I've already made it my own. You can see that I've added, here I've added some heat shrink to the top so that they'll be a little softer when they grab my pieces, which is a nice little touch. Just use some uh, four millimeter, sorry, three millimeter uh, heat shrink, which is cool. And you won't believe it, I happen to have the right size nuts. So I've been able to, that is with a, a quarter inch uh, coarse thread. I just happen to have some nuts and bolts lying around, so that's worked there beautifully. So just for the purpose of showing you a little bit more how this works, I'm just going to reattach these two front arms back on so that you can uh, you can see what this normally looks like. As I say, I'm going to mod it for my own my own use, but with those four arms on, this is kind of what I'm going to be doing with it. Let's cut down to my low camera here. And you can see there's lots of uh, flexibility, lots of movement allowed in these arms. It, they don't quite like fold uh, perfectly and stay. There's a little bit of spring in them, but it goes all the way from the back, all the way to up front like that, that nice curve. Now you can see just a few minutes ago I had the heat shrink on here, but uh, for this purpose I just wanted to show you how they work exactly and what they come like stock. Uh, there's a little collar thread up here. Now, I'm not quite going to get this working straight away, but uh, in the future I will. Let me just cut to that and show that to you now. Guys, I've figured out how these work. Uh, so you uh, loosen it, you loosen it like that, and then... Uh, this one's on pretty tight, but you then roll this one out to meet it. 
like that, and then it'll be secure. So I can let's just put that back a little bit, but I can get it exactly right. That's exactly the way I want it, and I can just tighten this onto it. Oh, that's that is perfect. That is actually perfect. I'll do the same with this one. I'll go one around that way, bring that down, and that's exactly where I want it. So I can just tighten that. Oh, that is genius. Okay, well, that's going to be a major help. Now, one of the other things I wanted to do was try to use those shorter back arms and see if I could use those in the same way. If they would curve down to the front and hold something uh, straight up and down the way the back arm, the longer arms can. Unfortunately, the answer is no, they can't. Uh, but I did give, it a, did give it an honest go here. Uh, just to see how flexible those are. Those are better, I think, if you're holding something flat or level. So you can see there. Uh, basically, if you're holding something kind of on that plane, those those shorter arms will do that. If you want to hold something uh, vertically, then you'll need the uh, back arms to do it. Unless, of course, you want to hold it vertically straight up, uh, which may increase the height of your desk, uh, which, you, of course, you can do. Cool, I'm just adjusting these arms now to get them into the position that I'm happy with. Trying to reorient those arms, figure out how they work. Like I said, there's just a little bit of springiness, but it's, it's pretty darn good. Hey, let me just get these adjustments right, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so showing off the demo that I did at the very start with the other arms, you can see... This is just the USB test that I'm doing with the same cable on the right. And I just wanted to see how easily these two will line up. Again, just checking out that springiness that I have in the, in the other half. Well, you can see how much more precise you can be, even though I'm still struggling a little bit to get it exactly lined up the way I want it. There you go. You see that? Now, that is not something that I could ever, ever have achieved with that $5 one. You can see the $5 one in the back left corner. There's no way that I could just line it up like that, push the two together, and just be happy. But look, that's pretty awesome. I mean, in my opinion, if you're going to spend $100 on a soldering iron, if you're going to be doing this sort of thing often, you might as well spend some money on one of these $40 quad arms. It's totally worth it. Look how easy it is to do. I'm just going to readjust the position here so you can see how easy it is to do uh, like a number of times. It's not like I just got lucky that one time. I keep pressing the clips. It is one thing, you know, you got to get used to. I try to grab... Oh, I put that the wrong way around. I keep trying to grab these arms to move them in a way that, look, I did it again. That's just something I'm going to have to get used to. It's not really a flaw in the design. It's just I'm a little bit brain dead here. You see, I did it again. I tried to move the arm and I squeezed. It's just silly. Flip that the right way around. Get this lined up, put it in the right space. No, it didn't quite work that time. You know, at this point, actually, in the video, I hadn't figured out how those collars work. So I'm still kind of struggling against that here. But really, uh, once you get the collars figured out and you can turn it the right way around, it just becomes so easy to use. You can see it's a little bit twisted round, and I haven't figured out how to straighten it. Cut to the overhead. You can see the angle that it's on. And I, look, I'm trying to adjust the arm rather than the, the collar. Trust me, once I got that collar thing figured out, this was like a ton easier. Like, how does that work? How does that work? Sorry, guys. You can see sometimes I make these videos. I'm not really sure how the product exactly works. But in the future, I will figure it out, even without the, the collared arm. Look, I can still get it lined. Once I got that thing straight, I can still line it up pretty damn easily. Boom, there you're done. Start soldering right there. Now, these back legs or the short legs... Uh, at this point, I'm going to remove them, but just to show you kind of how they work and, and the sort of different configurations that they can do, uh, I'll just bend them around to the front here and, and show you exactly what they can do. Move those other ones 
out to the side. So you can hold different pieces at the same time with these arms. Uh, you know, you can do different things, get all your own different setups. Again, this thing is just totally worth it. And of course, after this video, I end up making more and more stuff with it. I, I'm even putting together one of the keyboards with it if you want to watch my Terminus mini build. Anyways, it's fantastic. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me today, checking this quad, quad hands, third hand setup. The link, of course, in the, is in the About section below. Totally useful tool, totally great to have. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Or if you dislike the video, of course, dislike it. If you found the video particularly useful, you can buy me a cup of coffee in the About section. Don't forget, when you subscribe, that you can uh, check out my upcoming videos. You can tune into any live streams. I'm doing more and more live streams using tools just like this quad hand. Thanks again for watching. If you have a quad hand or any other third hand that you like using, let us know in the comment section below. It's always great when we help and share with each other. Great. Thanks again.